Hello friends, Boxband D here. Today, I would like to introduce you to a new friend, Tom, who approached me one day when I was visiting another friend, asked me to do the tour of his van. He's very proud of it. He did a great job. There are so many things that are unique to his van that you won't see anywhere else. So I want to share this video with you. Hope you'll enjoy it. It was a very windy day. I couldn't do anything about the wind noise, so I hope you can hear this. Oops. Hello, Tom. Hello. How are you doing today? I am doing well. It's windy, but uh, the temperature is too high. Well, I thank you for in inviting me to tour your rig. So we I think we'll love your rig. Hi. Hi. In 2018, I came out to the RTR with just to see bills, and I got into hundreds of them, but one of them just impressed me, and I kept coming back to it. It was built by a guy named Ron Bowman. He'd been living in it for seven years and running his business out of it. Because the wind is blown so loud and hard, I thought I should just narrate this part while Tom shows us his van. It's a beautiful 2003 Sprinter van. It's a T1N model with a five-cylinder Mercedes diesel. It's in really good condition. I didn't see any dents or scratches or anything. He shared that the only thing that was done with this van when he bought it is the floor. Everything else he did himself. So I think it's pretty awesome. Good. Handle this right here. Just push it. Hey, let me grab this. I have swivel seats on both sides. Oh, wow, that's so nice. That, and then, of course, there's a lagoon table. Okay. That will come over here so mm -hmm. that I can use that as a desk. Right, from your chair here. From the chair yeah. or whatever. And, uh, right. you know, two people can be there. The bed is a sofa right now. Okay. But this is a jackknife bed, and it flips around here. So it comes right to here, and it makes a twin bed. I can still walk. Okay. And I can open the cabinets. Yes. <laughs> so, which is nice. Yes. Um, just quick, while we're right here, I have enormous amounts of storage in the drawers here. Uh, there's two of these, oh, and they got yeah. about 50 pounds of food in them each. It's huge. <laughs> uh, so there's a, there's a lot there. Right. And then the rest is part of the solar system. I have my battery, an inverter, and the charge controller are all down there. There's well, on a 12 volt system, it would be 460 mm -hmm. amp hours of lithium. Whoops, normally closed. <laughs> uh, I like okay. your pictures. Yes, this that's is courtside. That, this is courtside. That was the uh, oh Van Aid last year. Okay. And then this is Gold Canyon, Arizona, which I love. Wow. And there's uh oh boy, that's Ajo. And this is up in Skadden Wash. Okay. Okay. And that is on top of the Moki Dugway in uh, Utah with uh, Monument Valley is right over here and Valley of the Gods. That was a nice I place. I like the woodwork in here. This is very inexpensive wood. Yeah. This is simply Luan plywood. Yes. It's very lightweight. It's thin, lightweight. And when I bought when I did it, it was $15 a sheet. It's, I think, $28 a sheet now. This is all the controls. So, uh, I mean, this is for the inverter. If I turn that on, there's a 3,000 watt inverter. Um, my battery's at 100% right now. Right. And I can see uh, that. And I put that little blinking light. So whenever I have the inverter on, it blinks. I don't want to forget that because right. they eat electricity yeah. when they're on. All the drawers. Wow. The drawers is loads of room and all yes. kinds of junk. And you have four over here. Yes. These, are, then... these are for clothing and right. they're enormous. Okay. There's enough clothes for easily six weeks or more oh wow in here for food i have it in baskets mm -hmm. on the commonly used stuff 
So that here's like for instance, here's all about all the condiments and all the rest of that. Yeah. I just bring it out here. Right. Use that and then just, just go stick it back and down and under a here. A long counter. How long is your counter? I have twelve feet of counter space. In well, there. that's a dream. That's well, it. and this is what impressed me. I can have all my projects out and still have room to go. Yes, dinner. exactly. But now you're wondering where is the kitchen? Yes. It's right here. Okay, let's and see so, where your kitchen. Okay. Now this I spent a long time trying to figure this out, how to do it. This is an induction cooktop. Okay. Here's, it's not all that clean right now. And this is just hinged so I don't have to look at it. Right. All right. But then you say, oh, you lost your counter space. Not really, because this just comes off. Right. Now, what I can do, you want to step back there to see this. Uh, <laughs> I can pull this out and recover the counter more space. More counter. Exactly. Or, really what is more handy is pull this out. And now I have a room for somebody else. You have to a eat desk. Or a desk. I can have right. two workstations going at the right. same time. You live and, in this full time, Tom? No. Four months out of the year. Okay. I have a house in New Hampshire. Oh, okay. I have under here an extra water tank, and I'm using a very small gray water tank right there. Mm -hmm. That's a diesel heater tank. Okay. I do have a diesel heater that's underneath the... Uh, passenger seat okay works great here is trash and in under here is a homemade composting toilet that oh, wow. works Let's perfect see. now that's wow. that, that's something that somebody can make you right can make that for well exactly. under a hundred dollars and it does everything the commercial yes, wants to that's nice oh, this is just the headboard oh, okay i wanted a headboard all right you really miss it how much solar do you have i have 400 amp hours on the uh, 400 watts rather and this is a Max Air? Or? That's a Max Air. Okay. And the Deluxe one. It's not bad. I don't cover the window. Do have. That, that is just foam board. Okay. That's in the back window. And I have them for all of them. They're in the back. They just snap in. You have no massive light. window. I nice. didn't want a window van, but you know, it's wonderful. Yeah, exactly. I can see how, I can see what's going on. If there's a noise, I don't wonder what's happening. Yes. Uh, the other thing is, it's cool. It's cold here. The van, as you'll notice, was quite warm when we came Very in. Comfortable. I don't have to do anything because the heat just comes in, and you can regulate the heat by opening a window, or a door, or the fan. So you have uh, inset spotlights uh, uh, or right, lights they're right here, and then they, you know, they're on a rheostat. Okay. And you'll notice it's right here, which means I can control it from the bed or when I walk in. Right. And then I have another one here that eh, does the same. Yeah. This is a Berkey filter. The problem with the Berkeys is they're big. Right. Big stainless steel exactly. thing you got to tie down, and oh my gosh. Yes. All right, I didn't want that, and I wanted one I could see inside. So I took a Berkey element right, and put it in a transparent one. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do is there's a, there's, right over here, there's a jug. I just bring this down, a little, <laughs> and then it'll drip into the and come fill back it up. Here. Show, just shows us uh, okay. that again. All right, here. Uh, let me just get this out over. Yeah. Here. Okay. We put this here. All I do is put that in there, and then it will fill this yeah, up. I up. do have a water pump. I turn that on. Again, I got a little blinking light here. The big thing with the Berkey is you always have to fill it. Right. Okay, I made mine so I can just turn on that, and it's filling the water, filling the jug. I think I've gotten rid of all the That's headaches with the Berkey. Cool. So that I can always have yes. water. I don't have it, and it's just nothing to fill it. And uh, yes. it's very easy. I don't have to tie anything down. Right. <laughs> I have another thing in here. I have a full shower, no propane in here. Everything is electric. And, okay. Yeah. I wanted to indoor. I did. I didn't plan to have a shower, but then I figured out. Wait a minute. There's an easy way to do this. Let me back up and okay. show us what okay. you. Have. I can give you. Pictures. Go ahead and tell us okay. about your shower. The whole problem with the shower is the shower pan. Almost every van, it's a commercial one. The shower is a 24 by 32 inch shower, right. and it's got a composting toilet or something sitting in it mm -hmm. that you have to pull out to take a shower. And then you have to pull out other stuff because there's so much space you're using it for storage as well. And then you usually don't have any floor space. I have room to pace in this one. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Um, a lot of floor space. So I wasn't going to put one in at all until I figured, wait a minute, there's an easy way to do this. So I have a full shower and the entire shower is in this bag. Wow. Everything is in there. Really? So how do I do a shower? It's fast and easy. Bring this up. I put a three-quart pan okay. on here and heat it up to just about boiling. Then I have a collapsible bucket 
which goes in here. Right. I pour the water in there and add enough cold to make it perfect. Okay. All right. Now, on the roof here, you'll notice there are some snaps. There's actually five snaps. Right. And I just snap the right shower. through here. This is a 110 inch wow. shower liner. Wow. That instantly snaps right up to the roof. Okay. And then the big thing is, well, how are you going to keep the water from going all over the place? Right. Easy. <laughs> this is a folding easy. dog bath. Sure is. Okay. We can I've been using this for two years. It doesn't leak. I've never had a drop of water on the floor. Oh, wow. That's so, very cool. All right. It fits right down here. Well, you're right. <laughs> Not quite there. The shower cart liner is right inside it. And yeah, and the, and no. the shower current is all the way around you, so nothing gets wet. Perfect. And this is a liner. It's fabric, so it doesn't stick to you like vinyl does. Oh, wow. And when you're done, this dries in a flash. I actually have a, a snap on the mirror outside. Where I did you it. find this? On Amazon. Now, for the shower itself, this is also a dog thing. <laughs> um, it's just... I put... This that end in the, in, bucket. In, the bu right. in the bucket. Right. This end gets plugged into DC. the cigarette lighter. Yeah. And then there's an on off switch. And then this here, I put this you have thing a hanger? on here. And oh, try, magnet. Try to, try to pull that off. Perfect. It's really on there strong. Yeah, it is very strong. <laughs> yeah. So that this, doesn't move. This is a great idea. It's about a gallon and a half. You can take a very okay. good shower. As okay. you know, with an yeah. eight shower. I mean, you can go more, but. Right. I mean, you get yourself wet, soap up, and then just a long rinse. Wow, Tom, you've <laughs> done a great job in this. Okay. How long is this inside? You know? I'm not quite sure how Well, long you have a 12 foot counter, so I have, that's uh, kind uh, well, of. Well, wait a minute. No, it's not. But, but remember, I'm 12 feet if I measure the whole oh, okay. thing. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. I see. If I go down to here, it's six, and then I got, well, I don't know. Yeah, it's six whatever. and four or something. Yes, yeah. but it is, it is 12 feet. I've measured that. Wow. That's... It is possible if I really wanted to. That is 73 and a half inches yeah. across there. Yeah. I could put a bed over there. Right. I've, I've got it, the setup yes. so I can do that yes. if I had another person. So, so right you now, have a freezer in your fridge? Yes. That's 110 or DC? It's DC. Okay. It's a truck fridge. Now, this is a popular one. It's made by, by Indel B, and they make them for several manufacturers. Okay. And they're all the same. And this is the, you know, there's the freezer, but yeah. it's enormous. Right. Uh, just enormous. That is huge. Um, and you can't hear it. What is behind the wall there? Well, that's madness. Okay. I'll show you. That's your garage? That is a garage, and it's way, way, way too big. Okay. Here we go. This is messy. <laughs> Very messy. But in here, I have got more junk than you could ever imagine. <laughs> that's a huge <laughs> garage. It's huge. It goes back here. And wow. there's a... There's a 16 gallon water tank back there too. And I've got chairs back here. There's, there's a workbench. There's the uh, the things for the windows that snap the windows. But I can get to most anything. And then uh, over here is all kinds of spares for the vehicle. Here, there's lots of tools. Um, there's an air compressor. And that's an AC air compressor. Yeah. It's a big one. I have this really <laughs> set up. It's great. And yeah, I got shovels and uh, Tom, All kinds of thank you so much for okay. sure. You're awesome. Awesome. Rick, yes. good job. Thank okay. you. So Tom doesn't have a YouTube channel and he's not on social media. So many unique things in Tom's van. From the bed that also is a couch and the bed is concealed in the daytime. The wonderful kitchen counters all the way to the back 12 foot in total they're beautiful and the concealed sink when is not being in use so then it's just counter the extra way he can set up a desk this shower system was awesome I was uh, so impressed with all this stuff he did. His Berkey system is so unique. I haven't seen one like that. Only thing I didn't like is the clear jugs. Um, oh, just so many details I can't explain. So if you like this video, 
please be sure to hit the thumbs up so it will help my analytics. If you're not subscribed, please do so and hit the notifications bell so you won't miss my next videos. And make a comment down below. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Give somebody your love today.